Addressing the gathering, President Ekufuadu stated that the agreement for a strategic partnership, when signed, would embrace all aspects of national life and should enhance considerably the chances of the two countries attaining progress and prosperity. Under the agreement, Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire have resolved to develop solutions which will ensure resilience to price volatility on the cocoa market, thereby curbing the fall in revenues derived from cocoa exports. Touching on litigation in Hamburg on the delimitation of Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire maritime boundaries, President Ekufado said that irrespective of the outcome, his government and the Ivorian government will continue to work in a healthy manner of cooperation to deal with the consequences of the pending judgment. What is of paramount importance to our two populations is the peaceful exploitation of the maritime resources for their benefit. The close cooperation of stable, fully functioning democracies such as ours will give a great push to the growth of stable constitutional governments, not just in our region, but on the entire African continent, which can only inure the benefit and welfare of the African peoples. He called for Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire to be at the forefront of the process that will convert ECOWAS into a true regional market. The order of the Grand Ivorian Cross, which was awarded to the Ghanaian president for highly distinguishing himself in his service to the state, is Côte d'Ivoire's highest national award. President Ekufuadu was grateful to President Ouattara for his presence as special guest of honor at his inauguration at a time when there were disturbing events in Côte d'Ivoire and could have provided an easy excuse for his absence. Adele Kwesi Machtube, reporting for Metro News.